Hi folks, it's about 5.10 and we're getting some charge from the sun. That's a tri-star pulling every little drop from the light that the panels are getting. It's not that bright. And we have some clouds. But anyway, I just got uh, installed this Ames Power 24 volt to 12 with 40 amps. I did a piece poor job right now, temporary. So. I connected it the positive to my positive end of the four banks 24 volt and the negative to the negative side and I utilized a 30 amp fuse that goes to my panel power distribution panel for the LEDs. What happened was my uh, previous converter 12 to I'm sorry 24 to 12 volt gave up the ghost uh, about five six months ago and I was just using direct fit to my 12 volt panels through two batteries either these two or these two or those two or those two but the problem was these two batteries or any two in the four banks being used at night or during the day to charge the tablets, the phones, and any lights went down and charge. And the other two didn't lose as much power. So in the morning when the charge controller kicked in, it sent the charge to the highest voltage batteries and the lowest voltage batteries that were connected to the 12 volt system of my house which are the LEDs and uh, electronics didn't get to charge properly so they went down to like 4 or 5 volts each and the other two had to compensate to become 24 volts. So they had plenty of charge. So they took all the charge. They came to about eight, eight and a half volt each. And the other two that has been utilized to use my 12 volt system dropped down to four or five volts. That resulted in the two batteries being boiling and consuming a lot of water and the other two didn't get to par charge. So I ordered this 24 volt to 12 40 amps converter from Ames Power to take care of that problem because I didn't want to damage my batteries. So right now it's connected as I mentioned to the negative of four banks and the positive of four banks. This is again temporarily till I make the proper fittings 
and the connectors because I didn't have the proper connectors. But in the meantime, I didn't want to damage the batteries. And I just got done about half an hour ago and uh, I want to check some preliminary tests. But I'll show you the parameters that is sent by the Ames Corporation. Here we go. The DC to DC converter, Ames Power. These are the different models. The one I got is the 40. That means 40 amp. 24 volts to 12 volts. <clears throat> That's the one we have here. It talks about cable sizing, input, 12 gauge, input, output 10 gauge, cable length, 1 meter or 3 feet, Terminal type five dash three point seven. Specification model number is this one we have forty amp and it works, it has a high range from twenty volt. 237 volt which is good so when I equalize the batteries or the batteries go too low which never happens on my case it will be charging that's like 17 volts parameter which is amazing output voltage 20 and a half volts that's probably at 20 volts and 13.5 probably at 13.7 output voltage again 12.5 13.7 current 40 amp output current 48 amp which is great Isolation, there is no isolate, it's not isolated. Heat dissipated, metal case, and fan. Well, metal case doesn't dissipate the heat because I opened it up to see the direction of the flow so I can install it properly. The AFTs or power transistors are not in contact with the metal case. The only thing we have is the fan only this input terminal terminal this output terminal terminal status LED uh, focus please yeah it's got a little green LED input low battery shut down about uh, 19 volt High output battery shot down about 38 volts. Input fuse protection is a fuse. It's a fuse that came with the device. Input over current 30 amps. Over temp protection 65 degrees centigrade or 150 degrees Fahrenheit plus or minus 5 degrees DC output short protection yeah output over current protection 48 amps DC output over voltage TVS diode whatever that is Dimension and the weight 
Uh, focus please but one pound and the instructions and installation and all that goodies and the disclaimers and, and all that 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 Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, turn on my 12 volt DC feed to the house and I'm going to hook up the amp meter to the input and then we're going to go check the output and I'm going to walk around in the house and turn all the lights on but before I do that I'm gonna check the power draw okay we have zero amps I'm gonna connect to the positive so we have now well, almost zero point one amps so it has point one amps consumption and this is the output point one where everything is off so I'm going to leave the meter here and turn my feed on and my feed is on I'm going to turn the garage light on the hallway that's the hallway the kitchen under the counter lights but I'm telling you they're they're brighter than what I was using my 12 volt feet with no converter they're much brighter okay go turn on Hi Alexa, how are you? I'm good. Ah, oh, just a little bit gay. And turn the living room. There we go. Turn the other side. Well, this is almost all the lights I have that I can operate right now and they do seem to be kind of brighter I guess that uh, converter boosts up the amp so let's go check the readings ooh nice and bright Garage lights. Yep. Okay, we're gonna go to the input. Oh, the fan is running. So I'm drying about six amp. Check the output. Yeah, it doubles the amps, so that's a good feature. But the fan is clicking in, running for about 15 seconds, go off. 
stays for 10 seconds, come on, go up again. That's kind of annoying. I may have to work on that cooling system. <laughs> but it's working. We have 10 amps draw. And we're drawing 5.8 amps, 5.9 amps. So it boosts, the, it boosts the amps. That's that's a good feature, just like the charge controller, the MPPT charge controller. Hmm, that gives me an idea. So there you go, folks. Let me check the temperature, by the way. Okay. <laughs> the ambient temperature, about 68. Let me check the TriStar, see what she says. Yeah, 67. Try the wall here. 68. Yep. At the bottom of the inverter, it's about 71 at the top it's 71 too so the casing doesn't provide the cooling the only cooling is that annoying fan well once you're inside the house you won't hear it anyways but here we go so far so good, it's working. Thanks for watching guys.